This message is for the one who never feels like you are enough. You compare yourself with others and always feel like you come up short. You hold yourself at such a high standard that the person looking back at you in the mirror is so full of insecurities that they just can't measure up. You feel like you're not pretty enough or smart enough. Maybe you're not social enough or liked enough. You're not capable or fashionable enough. You aren't funny enough, wealthy enough, educated enough, successful enough, or even dateable enough. You just feel like you're not good enough overall. You always feel that there's a not before all the things that others seem to be. Please, please know that those hurtful thoughts that seem to be on repeat in your mind are lies. Comparison is nothing but the thief of joy. The truth is that you, my friend, are God's masterpiece. You are created by his hand. He formed the skies that we look at, the sunrises and sunset that take our breath away. He formed the mountains that are so massive and beautiful. He formed the endless seas with a heartbeat that connects and steadies our own. He created the animals so vast and unique. He even hung the moon, the galaxies, and the stars. He made the light that we see by in the night where we find rest. All of these things and more are his handiwork. After creating each one, God calls them individually good and as a whole, very good. And then there's you. You are right there with the sunset. In Ephesians 2.10, the Bible says, For you are God's masterpiece, created by Jesus Christ to do good works, which God has prepared in advance for you to do. Talk about comparison. So let's flip that negative script that plays over in your mind. You are the one in that long list of things that God created that is a different kind of special. He calls you his masterpiece. That's huge. That's epic. That's life altering if you let it. I'm an artist and I have paintings and artwork that I feel are eh, art that's okay, art that I feel is pretty good. And then there's a few particular pieces that I feel like God has really inspired me to paint. Out of all of my work, if I was to label them, I would say that those are my master masterpieces. They stand far above all the others because of the rich collaboration with the Holy Spirit. I'm proud of them, of the way that God used my hands to create them in order to minister to others for Him. You see, you are this to God. You are His masterpiece. You're the one that He looks at with that special glow in His eye because He knows that what He created in you is amazing in every single way. He knows that through you, lives are going to be changed and enhanced and encouraged he knows that people are going to be loved, inventions are going to be created, words are going to be spoken, songs are going to be sung, and all those things that he put in you in advance are going to come to pass to change the world for him. Every detail of your makeup, every quirk, every little gift isn't without plan and purpose to God. You aren't a mistake. The things you don't like about your personality, they aren't flaws. Don't doubt yourself or sell yourself short. The world needs all that you have. Be it shy or outgoing, verbal or nonverbal, whether you're serious or more of a jokester, you're plump or skinny, the list could go on forever. Know that it doesn't get lost on God. God made you as you are. Then he stepped back, he looked at you and said, yeah, that's perfection. Maybe he even dropped the mic too, I don't know. But there's no one else like you. You don't have to fit into the world's molds or be like someone else. Not one piece of true art is exactly like another. You are not a copy. You are the original, and that's your superpower. So own that deep in your soul. Be you. Be free to be. And once you grasp how God sees you, your perspective in the mirror will change. The opinions of others won't matter because you'll start to realize that you're one of a kind. You're in the art collection of the king. You're marked by the fingerprint and signature of the creator of it all. You are his masterpiece. So next time you look in the mirror, choose to own it. Instead of doubting yourself this time, say, I am a masterpiece. And then watch how your reflection starts to change too.